Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you a couple of ways on how to clean up your C drive in Windows 11. First, we will start by cleaning up the temporary files and folders. Secondly, we will move on to the storage settings. There, we will clean up unwanted apps and files. And lastly, I will show you some tips and tricks on how to optimize your C drive. That being said, let's jump into it. Right-click on the Windows icon at the bottom of your screen and click on Run. Type percent, temp, percent, and click on OK. We will delete everything in this folder. If you are unable to delete some files, you can skip them. It usually means that some apps are still using those files. We will now do the same thing for the temp folder. So right-click on the Windows icon, click on Run and type temp and delete everything. Now we should type prefetch and delete everything in that folder. If a pop-up appears for permission, just press continue. And lastly, we will type software distribution. Look for the map downloads and delete everything in that folder. We have now completed step one. Let's move on to the storage settings where we will delete unwanted apps and files. Click on the Windows icon and type Storage Settings and click on it. Click on Installed Apps. You will get a list of apps that are currently available on your PC. By clicking on the three dots next to the app name, we can uninstall the software that you don't need. For this example, I will delete Skype. Let's go back to the storage settings and click on Temporary Files. You can check and delete everything but be careful with previous Windows installation, downloads, and direct X shader cache. Regarding previous Windows installation, if you are sure that you are not going to downgrade to your previous version, for example from Windows 11 back to Windows 10, then you can delete it. Some of you have many important files under Downloads folder, so it's better to uncheck it if you are not sure if you want to remove all the files in it. You can delete your unwanted files manually by navigating to the folder. Deleting your DirectX shader cache does not harm your PC, but can cause your games to stutter for 15 minutes or so. Afterwards, it should be okay. Don't forget to select your recycle bin and click on Remove Files to start the deletion process. Let's move back to storage settings. If you click on Show More Categories, you can navigate to folders in which you think there are more unwanted files that can be deleted. The noteworthy folders to check are Documents, pictures, music, and videos. We have completed step two, and lastly, let's optimize your C drive. Click on the Windows icon and click on Defragment and Optimize Drive. By clicking on Optimize, your C drive will be optimized for space efficiency. Let's turn on the scheduled optimization so this process runs automatically. Firstly, tick the box, Run on a Schedule. Secondly, select your frequency. Thirdly, tick the box, Increase Task Priority. And lastly, select your C drive under Choose and press OK. Let's now configure Storage Sense. Click on the Windows icon and type Storage Settings and click on it. Under Storage Management, turn on Storage Sense and click on it. Storage Sense automatically will delete your temp folders, recycle bin, and other temporary files after a certain point of time, so we don't have to do it manually. Tick the box, keep Windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system and app files. Turn on automatic user content cleanup, so this process will run automatically. Under Run Storage Sense, select your desired frequency. Secondly, you can set up a time frame on when to delete your recycle bin. And lastly, you have the option to clean up your downloads folder automatically. And there you have it. Now you can successfully clean up your C drive in Windows 11. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day.